It's now Dr. Barry Chaikin, an expert in healthcare technology and president of Docs Network. He's also the author of Future Healthcare 2050, How Artificial Intelligence Transforms the Patient-Physician Journey. Well, it sounds like you're an expert in this field. Thanks so much for joining us. Give me some examples of how AI is working for the good in healthcare. Well, thank you so much, Morning, for having me today. Um, what I'm most excited about is how we can use artificial intelligence for medical research. Um, the, the ability to be able to, in many ways, start to do clinical trials, not on people, but within digital uh, images of people and do it in silicon so we can see how different molecules could actually work within the body without having to go out to a clinical trial to do that. That way we can reject those things that may not work and use the things that have much more promise. Um, the medical research is tremendous, not only in terms of pharmacology, but various therapies that may be able to work. And we're seeing great advances in the use of immunotherapy for cancers, for example, that, are, that we never would have been able to accelerate to the level that we have now without artificial intelligence. Wow, that is just incredibly fascinating. Um, you know, when you think of something like cancer, I was just talking about MS research to be able to plug in that data. What breakthroughs, Dr. Chaikin, have we already seen using that technology? Well, we've seen so much work being done, particularly around cancer and immunotherapies. Um, I'm actually a cancer survivor and that I had a lymphoma. 10 years ago, I would have been treated with um, very rough chemotherapy. I've been treated with maybe a bone marrow transplant. Today, I was treated with monoclonal antibodies. And if you don't really know what those are, those are, you might have heard of Paxlovid, which is used for COVID-19. It's basically a, a medication that helps your immune system actually fight the cancer. And without the types of, AI is able to accelerate that tremendously, where today, cancer is becoming a chronic disease as opposed to a, you know, many ways, a death sentence for people. Um, so AI is incredibly powerful in that space. What I'm most concerned about is how you, AI would be used within the general public, because it does have some limitations. Most importantly, it hallucinates. It makes stuff up and it gives out misinformation. And in other industries, we can get around that, for example, in using it for social media and stuff. But when it comes to patients' lives, we can't afford to have that misinformation happen where somebody gets treatment that isn't really good for them. Right. And the mind is such a powerful thing, too, doctor, that when you Google something, a symptom you're having, lots of scary information can pop up. And if, if AI doesn't shoot out the right information or it's not specific to you, that can, I would imagine, be pretty detrimental to folks. Absolutely. And I have to tell you, I've been using AI for about three years now. Even today, with the experience I've had using it, the proper prompts I give it, the directions, the guardrails, it comes out to me and makes things up that are totally ridiculous. It'll give you, in times, it'll give me a reference from a medical journal, and I'll go out to go to look at, for the reference. I'll find out the authors exist, the journal exists, the title exists, but the authors didn't write the article and it didn't appear in that journal. Interesting. And okay. that's what's really dangerous about AI in using it in healthcare in the general public because we're gonna have these systems and they haven't been tested. And we don't know if it's gonna give people misinformation that they're gonna go after for particular treatments or avoid treatments that might be beneficial to them. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you saying that because while it may be great in medical research, uh, take it with a grain of salt if you're doing your own research to try to diagnose, uh, certainly go see your doctor. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing well as, as well um, following your cancer diagnosis. I do know about T cells, um, the, the immunotherapy and the, their sort of superpower in trying to, to cure these deadly diseases. Dr. Barry Chaikin, thank you for your time, sir. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.